Seriously? This is what you're doing? Dang it, I lost. Yeah, you're supposed to be filming. Steven Spielberg's not like, hey, uh, is someone... Hey, are you are you filming Jeff Goldblum running from the dinosaur right now? Because I mean, no, this is what's... On, I'm busy. Oh, nice frogs again. <laughs> if this is the future of Minecraft, I'm already bored. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Welcome to the Giggle Box. Thank you. This. <laughs> totally. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe and remember to. This is, uh, this is my sixth year anniversary. I've been on YouTube for six years now. This is the 500 something video. We need to make some changes. I want the channel to grow. And I think in the last, what, couple months maybe? I've only gotten, I think, four subscribers. <laughs> and that's not, that's not how it should be. And I think that's because most people think this is like a Minecraft channel, maybe. Because I've been watching channel makers. I've been watching their videos. You know, I'll maybe I'll link one at the end of this. But they've been very helpful. Very helpful because I feel like a lot of the content, a lot of the dilemmas that come up and that he talks about in his videos, they apply directly to this channel. Because I feel like Minecraft has somehow taken precedence on this channel because... I have um, shared on this channel with great joy because I love sharing this information and helping my viewers find the characters they like without having to go and buy a whole freaking case of 32 characters. That's a lot of money. You know what? These aren't like the cheapest things ever. And now it feels like that's the only reason people come to my channel is just to find codes. The algorithm somehow gets stuck on one video and then there's confusion mass hysteria dogs and cats living together and then before you know it the channel is just like it's growing 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 loves and eat street killers it's just... acid rain <laughs> don't miss charles dickens a christmas <laughs> Ah, uh, we like we talk about so much stuff on this channel. This channel has mostly been talking about toys, which with, with occasionally talking about or playing video games because I love video games. I love toys. I collect them. I have for most of my life. We occasionally also talk about movies. Um, we talk about a variety of different things. You know, you would call it like a variety or a jack of all trades. You know, a friend of mine recently said. He shared this quote with me. A jack of all trades is a master of none, but oftentimes better than a master of one. And I feel like that is what this channel is. Is This is a channel that encompasses lots of things. And so it doesn't feel like it's focused on one specific thing. I want to make some changes. And I can't be talking about Minecraft forever, especially when Mattel's not making Minecraft. They're making these, but I mean, this is not even the same as what they were making. Like, they were making cool minifigures. Now they're making this. This is their next idea. When you compare it to the minifigures that have been released in the past several years, those who love Minecraft, who play the game, who love getting these characters because they remind them of the characters in the game, I just don't think that this, whatever this is supposed to be, at least for me, is not matching up to this. We're going to open this one. The only other one I have is the, this one I got a while ago of my favorite Minecraft mob, which is the zombie. Now, what do I not like about this? First of all, the head weighs approximately 80 times as much as the body does. Right. So. You've got to be very gentle with setting him down and making sure that he is balanced. Otherwise, he face plans immediately. And 
Yeah, he's top heavy. He's got a tiny little body. A tiny little body that is supposed to support this huge head. And then I guess you pop the head off. You take the body off the neck base or whatever. Chin piece. And then you take the body and put it in the head and then seal it up. And then it doesn't seal properly. Nice. What? Oh, because the body has to lay flat. Come on, move around. Okay. And then you have this block. I understand Minecraft is all about blocks, but I mean, is this exciting? Put an F on there. Let me go. <laughs> I mean, so I got this one. Okay, so so it comes in this box. It has its diagram on the side, like you really need that, like an instruction <laughs> panel. Instructions. It's like, like, like you really need that. Okay. Oh, and also, there's no surprise about it. Like, the picture that you see on the box is the character that's inside. So there's no more surprise about it. There's nothing hidden. There's no... I've got to hunt all over town to find the guy I want. All over town. Okay, so here we have a snow golem. Okay, but then you pop off the head. You open up the head. Put the body inside there for whatever reason. And then you seal this up. And now you have a block that's just a pumpkin head. <laughs> I guess if you get all the heads, you can have them all sitting next to each other. But I mean, is that, is that amazing or something? I have been collecting Minecraft figures for a long time now, but this is not this is not doing it for me. Is it is it I don't get it. I don't get it. Are you just thinking, man, I can't wait to go get these? Well, I don't know. It's like you have them all and then you could like stack them up with an equalizer. And then what? Well, that's just the thing. I don't think that's as cool as the minifigures themselves are. Well, here's the thing that's really cool about these. If you take them all and you stack them, then they'll be stacked, and then you'll have a stack of them. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. This right here was an epic idea. This was a total win, I think. You and know? this was not? And that is just not. Are you excited about that? So wait a minute. But How many saying, of those do you have? I only have one. How many more do you want to get? I don't know what what's available. Which characters are there? Oh, there was... Yeah, see, that's the other thing. They don't show them on this box. But I took a video of uh, the actual bigger box that they had there with all these in there. And they had... Creeper, Steve... Alex, the zombie, the wolf, the snow golem, a black cat, and the pig. There were eight. Okay. There were eight to collect. So. I kind of like the snow golem because the pumpkin like that is already a block in Minecraft. Okay. Okay. That I can one see I that. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Okay. What about a random Enderman head? Would you want that? Well, I don't know, the skeleton and the creeper and the zombie kind of even make sense because there are mob head items in the game as well. There was no skeleton. There was a creeper and no, a zombie. No, but I'm saying if there, if there was a skeleton, that might be kind of oh. cool. Yeah, but see, that's the other thing. The only reason to make more of these is if these take off. Mm -hmm. And I just don't see people getting super excited over this. I'd really like a gasp. I don't know how they would do that because that's already like just a head. Yeah, with just, like, legs. Comment down below. What are your thoughts? Do you think this is epic and you want to get all eight? Or, nah, I'll pass. And see, the more people that say, nah, I'll pass, then it's like, well, we're not going to get another one of these. And then sooner or later, Mattel is going to be like, uh, guys, they didn't like those. You got any other ideas? 
How about a creature that you can detach its legs and put them inside its arms? Let's give it a try. <laughs> Final thoughts on this? Well, I don't absolutely think that it's like, this is stupid. Like, if there were no Minecraft minifigures, I would think this was just fine. I just think the problem is, is that it doesn't measure up to the Minecraft minifigures because they were, like, the Minecraft minifigures were so like a collectible thing and it really made you want to go out and get more of them and this just seems like the kind of thing that you buy one of your favorite character and then no more yeah also it's thinner plastic mm -hmm. it's thinner plastic which i think also makes it easier to break destroy crack is this thing stronger than a three musketeer bar <laughs> i doubt it <laughs> Today on that giggle box, <laughs> is it stronger than a Three Musketeer bar? I mean, we're gonna be making some changes around here. The channel is now going to be: Is it stronger than a Three Musketeer bar? <laughs> is this thing stronger than a Three Musketeer bar, or is it gonna disintegrate under my steel toe work boot? It feels like a gimmick to me. Like, hey, look, we have a plastic head. Hey, look, you can put the body in there. Isn't that awesome? Maybe <laughs> for like two seconds it's awesome, but then after that, <laughs> like, what happens if what happens if this gets separated? Like, it's on your shelf. All of a sudden, the head pops off, falls on the floor. Your dad walks in. Uh oh. Well, now all I have is his body with a platform on it. <laughs> what am I gonna do with it? <laughs> What would I do with it? <laughs> what am I going to do with that now? I guess you can take that and put this guy on top. And it's like, hey, look, it's a mutant. What I have is this body with a platform on it. So, yeah. Uh, what is my rating for this thing? There's the thumbnail. <laughs> How do we want to rate this? How are we going to rate this? I give things? it 5 out of 10. Oh, we're going out of 10 stars? Uh, it's it's simple. It's universal. 10 stars. Okay. 10 stars. I'd 10 being five. the best. 1 being absolute garbo. Rather uninstall. Yeah. <laughs> Would I uninstall this? Well, you know what? Let's just say... <laughs> let's just say... <laughs> let's just say easily that these are the only two I'm going to ever get. This is not cool enough to go back and get more for the very reasons I said. Mm -hmm. The plastic is very thin. It's three pieces. You lose one piece of this and it's useless. <laughs> this body with a platform on. And really, if you were to lose any of these pieces, you'd want to lose these two before you lose this because this is probably the most worthful, the, worth, uh, the most uh, worthwhile piece is this one because... Like you were saying, this is like a pumpkin. It can just sit on its own. It doesn't need a body. It doesn't need a platform. But if you lose these two and you're left with that, garbo. <laughs> you lose this and this and all you have is a body, then, I mean, I hope you have some creativity to use it in other ways. <laughs> like hybrid minifigures. But, yeah, this... <laughs> platform. This, this is not something... This is not something I will get any more of. I got my favorite character, the zombie, and I got this snow golem because uh, he was the only one in the box, actually. And for the same reason you said, the pumpkin on its own is actually kind of cool. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I will not be getting any more of these. So on a scale from 1 to 10, I mean, it's like, it's... I give it 5. Like, take it or leave it, really. it's If you have one, cool. Should you get more? Eh, I don't think so. Five? I say five. Yeah, let's give it five stars out of ten. It's fine, I guess. It's fine, I guess. Is it like a true Minecraft minifigure? No, not really. And will it substitute for that? No. So what was a ten, then? The golden figures? The ender dragon? This right here is a ten. Like, as far as, like, awesomeness... This right here is epic. Oh, yeah. Collect them all. You get an ender dragon. It's huge. If yeah. you collect them all, yeah, you get an ender dragon. And it was like their 10-year anniversary box. Yeah. 
I mean, that was a cool collection. 10 years of Minecraft. You get gold and silver and bronze characters. All on little... Uh, oh, the Achievement Series? Yeah, like on little platforms and whatnot. And then each character came with a piece, and you build an Ender Dragon out of it. That's freaking epic. <laughs> but now you, you can one. get this. This is our latest edition. Okay. <laughs> that is going to do it for today. If you like this kind of content, you like variety. If you like us talking about toys and movies and just, you know, overall just the discussion of toys and possibly games. I mean, there's other things on this channel. I don't quite know the direction we're going, but if this makes you happy and you enjoyed this, consider subscribing and give this video a like. Like it if you liked it. <laughs> and we will see you guys in the next video, whenever that may be. I just don't know yet. I don't even know what we're going to do next time. But there will be another video. Trust me. Now comes the 20 minute outro. That's where my YouTube journey started. And where do we go from here? Where do we go? Where do we go? <laughs> where, do we go? where do we go from here? Neo, you know where that road takes you. <laughs> You've been down that road before, Neo.